Are you ready, everybody? You ready to head back to uh, uh, Ember Twin? I'm ready. I'm also spooked as hell, but... Wait, is Ash... Oh, shit. Ash Twin's gonna go over the... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey, there's, there's the quantum moon. Okay. Here we are. This is the dried up lake bed down here, I think, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. As a whole. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my good god. This is extremely spooky. It is dark and spooky and claustrophobic this is everything i hate and many others hate why is the sand already piling up wait a minute did i Oh my god, what the hell? Wait, what? Pebble gets a sofa? Wait, I'm sorry. Hold the phone. Pebble gets a sofa? We, I went to the pet store with my mom and she saw it and she's like, I'll buy it for him for his Christmas gift. Pebble gets a dog sofa? <laughs> yep. What the fuck? I was telling her how he doesn't have a bed for when he sleeps. But it, it it's like... It, <laughs> it's just a big fucking dog sofa. It's so cute! <laughs> this is actually like not badly made. This feels decent. How expensive was this? Oh... You should, you know, uh, My mom did it. I told her not to. She wanted to. It was two fifty. Two fifty. That's pretty expensive for a dog bed. Pebble, come here. I mean, I, I get it's a gift, but. Pebble, come here. She wants to spoil him. Well, we all want to spoil him, but it's two fifty. I, 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 I could sit in that. Well, I was gonna put it in the bedroom so when he goes to sleep with us, he has somewhere to sleep now. I'm fine with that. <laughs> he wants to play ball. I know, he's so out there right now. Yeah, he wants to. I think I can sleep on it. That's, a, that's an expensive ass fucking dog. But it's thing. nice at least. Well, I mean, yeah, it is nice. And it, I mean, if it, is, if it is a present from your mom, you know, obviously it's fine. If you, if you I, bought it, I'd no, be. No, I would not buy it. No, I, I probably wouldn't buy it either because that's truly expensive. But um, I, I mean, you know, I, I fucking hope he actually uses it because dogs will often just see their dog beds and be like, nah, thanks. This is so ridiculous. You gonna get you gonna give him a fucking king's crown too, and perhaps a butler? Yeah, his own little personal butler. Are we going that hard? Why not? He's a special little boy. He's not. He's not that special. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's for you, Pebble. That's for you. It's for you. <laughs> what a silly boy. I already have two personal butlers, father. I just can't think of it. Um, they think it's expensive as fuck. 
which is what they should. Um, yo, yo, chat, have I, have I already fucked up this, uh, this section? I think I've already fucked up, haven't I? And the sand has gone a little too quickly. Good boy, Pebble. I'm proud of you. You better use that goddamn thing. The king deserves his throne. how I got lost that quickly. That's what you mean, but I guess I did. You know what that means? That means it's interloper time. They said that something that it melted or something on the sun facing the side. So... I gotta figure out what part that part is. This place contains all the deep, dark depths of terrifying space. Um, hmm. They say, you know, I got some time before we actually reach the sun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my logs. Oh, wrong side. Tower of Quantum Trials. Earth's Camp, Quantum Caves. Lake Bed Cave, the Sunless City. There's the Gravity Cannon. Subsurface energy findings, the Ash Twin Towers, the Sun Station, the Ash Twin Project. We're going. Uh, heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Two of the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended inside to investigate. Yeah, just the, just the sunward side. Okay. Hmm. How are we looking? Oh, Jesus Christ. We're in like... We're way out there, aren't we? Oh my God, we are. We're about halfway through our circle. Oh, so this is where the, um, the white hole is. Oh man, we got a while. Yeah, we are swinging back, all right, though. So, boys. You got a, uh... I never, I never put that, I, I never put that together. That the reason my ship has gravity is because there's a crystal in here. I thought we were just, we just had a relic and we were like, ooh, cool relic. Holy shit. Well, goddamn. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree. Walk towards it. Enjoy. I did as soon as it broke on me once. This thing can break on you? Oh my god, it's on nothing. How the hell has that happened? Do you have to crash your ship hard enough? Cannon, interloper. I have more to explore at Shirts Camp. Oh shit. Wait. Army gear to North Pole. Sunless City, path is blocked. Uh, sun Station. 
Ash Twin Towers. Hmm. There's the Quantum Caves. The strange rock shard that moves when I'm not watching. It emits a signal in the quantum of fluctuations. Uh, let's see. Mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed in the North Pole. Oh, wait. I wonder if that has to do with my light. I think it might. How are we doing? Man, this is a long trip. Oh, hey, the white hole's up there. Hey, there it is. There we go. I was about to say, damn, this thing's got more gravity than I expected. He's got way more gravity than I expected. Now there we go. Ain't that better? Oh hey, is that a supernova? Oh shit, it is. I have no idea what that is. Oh hey, there's another one. Okay, so that's tower shard over there, cave shard over there. And then unknown? Island shard there. Anything down here? No. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's the moon. Yep. Then there's the tower shard, the yeah, tower grove shard. Unknown. Neat. Oh, looks like we're on our way around. Oh, we've been on our way around. I gotta make sure I keep my oxygen levels up. I gotta jump this interloper really fast when I first get in here. Oh shit, we're moving. We're moving actually really fast. Wait. Are there... Are there two shards on Timber Hearth? Oh shit, there might be. Oh, does the observatory have one? Oh, oh, that doesn't count then. Oh boy, here we go. Sun facing side, they said. That's fucking terrifying. I, I don't like that at all. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I'm safe here. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? 
Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shell warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, the two of you. Oh, God. Uh... Holy shit. Yikes. Yeah. Not this way. Ghost matter kills you instantly. That's what this shit does. Oh. Ah. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Holy shit, Christ almighty. If that... I don't... I don't know which way to go. I know which way I shouldn't go. And that way is that way. <gasps> Pebble. Chocolate. Well, I love these ones, the Lindor ones, the little balls. Oh, there you go. I bought you things, so buy me a little thing too. Okay. I mean, you don't have to, I guess. What do you do? We have a store of them in our town that sells so many of those swords for a key. They're yeah, pretty good. I like those a lot. Where's the interloper? I'm coming back for revenge on that little asshole. The interloper? It's the, um, it's the comet. Uh, cause there's, there's a lot we did not explore. Like, a lot. Aha. actually pretty cool is that a pebble is that a pebble baby boy Listen, all right. 
it's just it's time to oppress the man okay made it stop oppressing the man he's 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 moving and squiggling squiggling wiggling whatever the fuck okay before going down the slippy the, the slip slip and slide of, of death i will fire probes yes i agree like this. I wonder how long it'll take before the probe flies directly into the sun and blows up and dies. Actually, I'm worried that it might... I might lose it forever. Okay, we're getting close. Let's try landing a Hollow's Lantern. Why in God's name would I do that? Come on. Should be soon. There it is. I still don't like this though. It's creepy. Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't even notice this upper area. Oh dang. Cause I was I was too busy. Well, I only went down here once and then I went back up. But uh but then like Yeah, cause that that right there is just a, a a hole of hell. Oh no. Oh god. Are you shitting me? Okay. It's it's right it's right left. Yeah. <laughs> shit oh god they are very dead they are very very dead i can't tell if the icicles are puncturing them or if they just froze to death and that was what that, they were trying to go for Whoa. <gasps> mm. 
that give that that say gives me thrust. What we got here? The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather the source is what's within the stone, protecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. It should be 10 times what we're seeing at least. Hi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing and it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Hi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's undertones of pressure, tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this, oh shit. If, uh, if this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches this star system. Holy shit. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chance of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Holy shit. Okay. That's fucking horrifying. So this is just a gigantic bomb that will blow up our entire star system. Well. I, I, I think. Wait. Wait, I need to, I need to look at the timeline. Wait, hold up. Wait, hold on. Okay, fir okay, first things third, first, I need to get the fuck out of here. There's the little slit. Wait. It, it says blanket the star system, but there's only so much of it I, uh, around, though. The question is... <laughs> Chat, the sun gets bigger, doesn't it? Because of the red giant phase. Oh, okay. Okay. Never, never mind. Forget I say anything. Never mind. I'll, I'll explain my my thought process earlier or uh, later. I'll explain my thought process afterwards. I I was wrong. Oh yeah, my ship is twenty three kilometers uh, away because it got yeeted by the sun. I'm just gonna meditate. Um, sorry. So. Uh, I, I thought that the crystals themselves were, um, the crystals themselves were the matter under pressure. Uh, I thought that it just was formed like that. Uh, but, and I thought that the reason our sun is going supernova is because it would expand to a gas giant and then the interloper would fucking ram into it. Because it's it's a really tight um, orbit. Not really an orbit. Like it's a really tight elliptical orbit. It gets damn close, and so I assumed it would go red giant, and then it would immediately fucking slam into it, and that's what causes the supernova. But it seems that instead, 
that was originally like like a ball because now it looks all flayed and frayed now it's like a, it was a ball and it has already exploded which is what wiped them all out which is why we have uh ghost matter on this planet and ghost matter on giants deep and ghost matter everywhere because that would make a shitload more sense I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But, uh... Yeah. That seems to be the case. I can't tell which one it is. I can't tell if, if it was like a ball originally and it wiped out their uh, their species or um, if it was the other one, which is uh, the... Oh, shit. Which... I would need to find the pattern. I would need to see if the interloper runs into the sun. Simply put. God damn it all. I can't. Oh, Jesus. Here comes the sand. So it's not there. It's not there. So it has to be this middle one. Rocks block off that way. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Fine, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Oh my god, this place is... Quantum cactus! If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. Your strange wandering rock friend is your strange wandering rock friend is here, though Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observe this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in the least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing 
on the largest one, the Wandering Rock, as I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When it lit again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. God, this thing is also moving. There's that. There's the skeleton. There was a skeleton over there. It's gone now. That's right. I do have my own light source. I have my flashlight. Yes, I remember this one now. I remember this one now. Yes. And I remember this. An object that is quantum uh, will move with it. When the light is com when the light is completely out, uh, when there is no light and therefore cannot you cannot see the quantum object, but you are standing on or with or, or in it, um, the object will move with you. Oh yeah, it's right. This is not a, uh, this isn't a trial. This is just simple fact. Uh, this is just, just a thing you gotta figure out yourself. Schrodinger's rock. There you go. Is there wall text that explains it? Oh, I must not have seen the wall texts. Oh, wait, does the wall text only appear if I turn off the lights as well? I must not have read that part. Ah, uh, that's, that's badass. I didn't know that. By quantum moon. Yeah, no, this this one isn't as well documented as the quantum imaging, but that being said, quantum imaging is by far the most important. That's the number one lesson you need to learn if you're doing this game is quantum imaging. I think I've missed my opportunity for uh Sun Station teleportation. Uh, yeah, I definitely have. I need to hit that one quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna meditate for this one in that case. Ah, David Goldflare, you're right. I should have just gone for it. No, no, not the poking. Not the poking. I should have just flown right into the sun station. I should have just fucking landed on it. <sighs> that would have been badass. Always gotta have a marshmallow. Oh, I know it's possible. 
hard though. I tried to fly into the quantum moon one time. Once I guess how that one turned out. I don't know, Twitcherman. All I know is that I uh, I remember one time when I was on the quantum moon, I I blasted and uh, I, I was I was doing all the objectives and then yep, that's exactly what happened to me. I fucked up my my imaging. And then I looked around and I realized that the moon just fucking disappeared beneath my feet. And I was lo and I was left floating in, in the middle of, of deep space. It was goddamn funny. Too fast, 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 too fast! Cobra fan, you dingus. You say you want me to time you out two separate times, but you don't seem to understand the simple concept. The fact that you say you will not be silenced, but in fact, this is silencing you. Yes, silly. All right. Yeah, the whole moon is quantum. Fuckers stole my moon. <laughs> can't have, yo, can't have shit in the quantum realm. That's a good one. See, I like that one. Whew. Well, there's Ember Twin. Ah, there it is. I like how little Ember Twin has in terms of, uh, of gravity. You guys float around this place. Yo, what's up? Huh? Why doesn't he trust you? Well, he deserves ointment on his foot. He's a little boy, baby boy and he has a hurt foot. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Why does his foot hurt? Oh, I think it's the... What's wrong with it? It's like his nail? His nails, one of his nails has gotten too short. And, okay. Um, he was playing or running, and it basically scraped it all the way to, like, the meat area. Ah. Yeah, so he's bleeding a lot. His nails are deep. Yep, that's what happens. But he's he's fine. He's not like whimpering or anything. It's just he's bleeding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, he doesn't make any sound. You can you can you can take a punch. Um, but I got some stuff from the pet shop, which is like a chip thing. The powder. So you take like a damp uh, comb. Okay. And you dip it in, and then you like put it on his foot. I think I managed to do it. I don't know if I succeeded. But okay. <laughs> doesn't like it so well, i assume he doesn't like it but yeah, that's not I don't, I don't know if it's seeds or something but well he's gonna have to like it because it's good it's for his own good trying to travel to the sun station and then after that we're going to the quantum moon so just, you can go to the equator on ember twin and take a long jump from there and then accelerate by boosting up every once in a while until you actually reach escape velocity Huh, I didn't know you could reach escape velocity on Ember Twin. It seemed like the gravity was a little bit too rough. That's neat, though. I am running out of fuel and oxygen. There it is, finally.
Oh, you can't. All right, come on, come on. Run from the pricklies. It's all cactus. It's always has been. All right. If I am not mistaken, this should be taking me to the sun station. Unless I've got the wrong area. Though I think that is what this place is supposed to do. It's supposed to take me to the sun station. I shall simply now wait. Or it takes me to Giant's Deep, because this is lined up. Oh wait, no, there's the Sun Station. Let's fucking go! Yes, this is indeed the Sun Station. All right. Woo, here we are. Uh, 281,000 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes, all systems entering sleep. Six minutes, 37 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected, sun station, hull integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Warning, opens emergency door. I ain't no pussy. this thing to uh to scoot past okay Mission. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. So you lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does, idiot. <laughs> Idea. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That is our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an impossible feat is even possible. Turns out, uh, it wasn't possible, but, uh, woof. That's Ash Twin. Star has reached the end of its natural life cycle. Now approaching Red Giants. Oh no, so yeah, it, so no, the interloper, the interloper did not crash into the sun then. They did, they do stay, it's at the end of its natural life cycle. So it was not the interloper, it was, that was just the issue. Okay. Approximate time until sun station is destroyed by expanding star. Three minutes and 14 seconds. Approximate time until Star's death. 14 minutes and 44 seconds. Holy shit, we need to fucking move. Uh, I don't need this. I don't need that. Well, I got a little bit longer. Oh boy. I didn't realize it was that quick. Oh, there's something up here. It's just, an, it's just an observation area, it seems. Oh, fuck. Fuel level critical? Okay. Okay, it's time to go.
か Thank God that's over. Oh shit, that's right, my fuel. You now using oxygen as propellant. Okay, we're better now. Yes, because oxygen sucks as repellent. Or as pro propellant. Oxygen is trash propellant. Okay. Uh, that's that. You know, chat? I think it might be quantum moon time. What do you think? I think the only thing I have left to do is to locate the other escape pods, which actually... Oh my god, the sun's pulling me back into it. Right, one is there. One distress beacon is there. One is on uh, Brittle Hollow. And then the last one, well, you know where it is. We have do uh, dove down to giant, the bottom of Giants Deep, yes sir. been to this escape pod? I think I have. This is escape pod one. Oh, I haven't been to the Ember Twin escape pod. That's the one I didn't do. Shit. No, why they have to make the escape? You, you know, you know what? Okay. Uh, you know what is both awesome, but also like, like fuck, fuck off? I know they made the escape pod sound effect really fucking creepy sounding because I know that they were specifically saying, hey, you're going to need to follow this escape pod into the dark bramble. And so when you're in the dark bramble, you're going to have to hear this the whole fucking time because I guess they're just assholes or something. Well, yeah, it's good atmosphere, but you know, fuck them. Bunch of douches. Go. Oh. Objectively good, sub subjectively, you suck a dick. Escape pod two. We need status report on all systems, but initial things first is everyone unharmed. Our escape pod's passengers are afraid, but physically well. Everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Where were we able to find the other uh, escape pod's distress signals? 
You can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. That is correct. Escape pod two, a vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency evacuation. Three, launch escape pod two. Collision imminent, prepare for impact. Uh, scanning external environment. Scan complete, external temperature is prohibitively high. Verdict, inhospitable. Do not seek shelter on planet's surface. The heat from the star system's sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans shows the cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend we stick a site down there to build a long-term shelter. No, no, but these passages are a maze. Even with this danger, they are still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and descend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the wall to avoid being irreversibly lost. Be cautious, everyone, and be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Speaking of... Honestly, gradually is an understatement in Ember Twin. More like fucking rapidly. You know, Chef, I had to say any issues I have with this game, I think that would be one of them. Continuity isn't correct. Because... It wasn't until the beginning of my cycle does the sand arrive on the Ember Twin. So it shouldn't have been doing that in terms of, of their time frame, however many hundreds and uh, thousands of years ago. It goes back and forth, actually, Bricky. It fluctuates. Wait, really? But how does the sand get pulled back to Ash Twin, this thing barely exists. Well, I assume they're just called the Hourglass Twins because of the sand alone. But yeah, my problem is my problem is that the, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense of how it comes back. Because the more sand it loses, I would argue the less gravity this this twin has. And all these structures were made by the Nomai, so they don't count. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't know. Per perhaps there's another reason that makes more sense. Um Perhaps there's not. I don't. I don't know. Because the problem is they they spin, right? They spin right now, and because they spin, like like right now, if you look if you look right here, like when you see it this way, the sand should be being pulled back into Ash Twin, but we both know it's not. That could just be a we don't have it that way for sake of game. But, you know, that feels more like a, it needs to be game. And actually, you make a great point, Gold Flare. How come, how the fuck does Brittle Hollow work? Like, it's being, did they just now get bombarded? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, they referenced the volcanic moon. I, I, I know that, but it, that means it's been blowing this shit up already. Honestly, load and play makes a good point. The sun reaches five stages in 22 minutes or whatever. So that's fair. This is probably just like a shut up, don't ask. This is a, uh, it's cool. It works well for the game. And he's just probably right. It's probably right. It looks cool. Yeah, this planet also has a black hole as its core. That also doesn't make any fucking sense.
They never point to a calendar or time in the lore, so maybe it's a universe where everything goes faster. Well, no, they did. Um, I think the Nomai died like 200,000 years ago. Then they gave us a time frame around there. So, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't quite... It doesn't quite match up, but, you know. Oh, shit! The interloper does collide! Yeah, that's a good point. We also have uh, the the intergalactic weed that's breaking space time. There's also that. Yo, I'm hauling ass. see this shit go yeah yeah we, I'm, I'm gonna stop questioning It's gone. But interestingly, the sun goes Nova just two minutes after it arrives in there. That's a bit weird. Since we have a time, what's your favorite instrument out of all the ones that uh, the Traveler's song? Oh, um, I like the I like the drums. never gets old to watch this this never gets old to watch i love it almost every single time well the times i don't love is when um i'm about to um i'm like trying to finish something up and they die ah you're right Also, hey, Quasi, thanks for the five gifted subs, dude. I really appreciate that. I very, very much appreciate that. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, it's a weird game, right? Huh. Quantum Moon Time. I'm excited for Quantum Moon Time. 